Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. Have something totally unique and very, very cool to show you in today's video. This is the CCM or Classic Construction Models Caterpillar Cast Iron Tractor in gray. These were based off of toys produced in the 1930s by the company called Arcade. And back then, the whole idea with toys in particular was, was that things were mechanical. Uh, they had a lot of moving parts. They were um, pretty generic in terms of the mold and the tooling. There wasn't a lot of detail. But it was more important to companies back then that the model functioned, that the toy had a lot of play value is the term we would use nowadays. And this model by Classic Construction Models pays homage to those. Now, these toys were some of the very first to be officially licensed by Caterpillar. So that is another reason why they are a highly sought-after collector's item. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the box as we begin the unboxing chapter. You have Caterpillar in the wavy font style that Caterpillar used in their very, very early on days after uh, Holt and Best merged together to form the Caterpillar Tractor Company. Regular U.S. patented off on the time. On the top, I should say. Legendary toys by Classic Construction Models. Beaverton, Oregon, and then an old-school CCM logo, which looks really, really good. The side of the box, Caterpillar Cast Iron Tractor, model toy number 16. Now, this does come in a brown outer shipping box, which protects this box, the actual model's box. Popping the top off, we are greeted with some styrofoam. So let's go ahead and remove that. Now, initially, the styrofoam will be taped. So you will have to remove that. Then we can carefully lift out the tractor. And with some care and some patience, our tractor is now free from the packaging. Also in the box, we have an instructional sheet seen here, which I'll go over in just a minute. And then the other piece of noteworthy item that uh, is in the box is the center exhaust, which we will mount here in just a moment. All right, welcome back, folks. So in one of the bags is the exhaust stack and the two levers, which as you can see, to save some time, I have already mounted them. And then in the other box, we have, I guess you could say the great-grandfather to Bob... Here, here is the original Bob, our operator figure. You'll notice the holes through the center of his hands. Obviously, that mounts over the uh, control sticks, the gear levers, if you wanted to mount him. So, quickly, let's put the exhaust stack on. Before I do that, for those that may want to see it... By the way, this model weighs close to 6 pounds alone, so it's a hefty chunk of metal. But as you can see, you can see where it mounts from the bottom. You can see the old CCM Toys logo. So that's what locks the, the levers in, the gear levers. Again, quickly, let's put our exhaust on. Which, if you follow the directions, you'll note that it just kind of sits in that hole. And for those that want to see the instructions... There they are. Very simplistic. Tells you where to put the, the levers, the operator figure, and then the fasteners to the bottom. Okay. Now, let's take a closer look at the model itself. Let's bring it in. All right. Measurements. For those that are interested in the sizes of things, listen up. I already, me I already mentioned that it weighs over 6 pounds. 6.5 inches in length, 5.25 inches in width, and 5.5 inches in height. Now, unlike most classic construction models, this model is actually still available direct from CCM. If you want to purchase it, all you have to do is click on the link that I will provide in the video's description. It'll take you straight to the CCM website where you can buy this. All right, now to the details. You can see the large tracks here. This is modeled after, uh, I believe, a Caterpillar 20, or at least the Caterpillar 20 that had fenders. You can see the Caterpillar in red wavy letters. A lot of people may not know that one of the reasons the early cat machines were painted in gray is because they had a surplus of navy gray, uh, and that's why a lot of the old cat tractors were painted in this color. 
Again, you have the wavy red decals, Caterpillar down the side, uh, engine see-through venting. Here is your beautiful cast iron Caterpillar grill. Again, you can see Caterpillar is embossed in it. The track frames have a spring that is painted on in black. It is non-functional, but it is a nice detail. I already mentioned the exhaust and the two levers. I left mine a little bit loose fitting. I didn't tighten them up all the way because I wanted them to move and flex a little bit like the real ones would. Finally, the back completely blank. In the real world, this would have the, the Caterpillar stamp, um, you know, manufactured in Peoria, Illinois, etc., etc. All right, on to functionality. Let's take a look at how the tracks function. You can move them by hand. They roll pretty well. And if you press hard enough, even on a smooth surface such as the review area, they will roll a little bit. Now, let's take a look at the opening engine hatch. It will open on both sides. So there you go. And you can see some of the different mechanical components inside. All right, let's open up the other side. There you go. Here's the other side. And you can take it off, too. So if you don't want the flaps mounted on the engine, you can take the flaps off just like so. All right, folks, that'll do it for this Diecast Emporium video. Honestly, this cast iron toy is very appealing and has a high collectability value, at least to me. You know me. I'm a collector of pretty much anything that CCM does, Caterpillar-wise, and I got to tell you, I was blown away by the functionality of this model. Uh, again, if you want more details, please click on the link that's in this video. But all you need to know is that although these were manufactured back in 2004 with only 300 being made, there are still some in stock. So if you want one, get them while you still can. All right, guys, thanks again so much for watching. For those that just wanted to see the review of the Caterpillar uh, arcade toy, click off now. But I have a special treat for the rest of you that have stuck through this video. So we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, you'll see an all new accessory for this vintage arcade style model. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for sticking with me. Now, for an extra $80 and also still available from CCM, you can pick up this. This is a 10 disc Hero which is a farming implement. It comes with this red mounting bracket that just simply clicks over the back axle, if you will. Then we'll line up our, our disc. There is a pin that is provided, as seen here. So let's drop our pin in and see how this may work. There you go. Now our pin is in. Now, we can mimic plowing a field. And you can move it left or right. The discs can be rotated. You can see me moving them by hand. Uh, again, this is another pretty hefty piece of, of toy engineering. There's a lot of weight incurred. And the fact that even back in the 1930s, which this model is representative of a toy from back then, you had a lot of functionality and you had a lot of play value. Not only could you get a tractor that you may see your dad or your grandfather plowing away at your family farm's field, but you could get a toy of it that actually mimics some of the real-life functionality, both left to right and the fact that the discs move. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this Diecast Emporium review. I know I certainly have. Again, if you are a fan of vintage Caterpillar equipment, vintage tractors, or vintage arcade-style toys, cannot recommend one or both of these enough. They are amazing, amazing models. Again, highly recommended by me. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.